coming from the literary background, one of the things that I was fascinated with was symbolism. Um, I love Jung. Um, give me some Joseph Campbell. Give me, you know, give me my archetypes and my monomyths and and all of those sort of clues. It's a mystery. And so I always enjoyed looking up names and, oh, what does that mean? Um, and when I'm, when I'm meeting my characters and I'm getting to know their personality, I need a name that reflects that. Names are powerful. Words have power. And I want my characters to breathe for me, so I give them names that have power and identity. And so with, with Wicked Lovely, the first thing I knew was I knew Ash's name. Um, her name in Gaelic means vision or dream. And I knew that this was a girl who could dream summer into existence. I, that, was, that was the core of what I knew, was that she was a girl who could dream. And then I looked at it, and the short version of her name is Ash. Ash is what is left when we are burned, like by the sun. Um, Ash is also one of the um, holy trees. There's, there's Rowan, which is a sacred tree, and it's used in, in folklore. And so, wow, this is perfect, she's my Ash. Um, Kenan's name actually um, is reflective of his relationship with his mother. Um, it means little one. And it would be, you know, she calls him Kingling, um, Ariel calls him Kingling. It's, it's a sort of disdainful, um, it's a way to emasculate him when she named him. And so again, that, that is reflective of their identity. Now Neil's name means champion, and that's a sort of, you know, it's a clue as to his identity. That's who he wants to be, and it's who his, his flaws come from. His belief of flaws comes from when he's failed at being a champion, and that he's trying to reclaim that and redeem himself by becoming a champion. So um, for the most part, all of the names are, are chosen for that reason. And I actually collect names. When I, when I do uh, book signings, I collect little post-its if there's names that I love. Um, I collect them from my spam folder sometimes, but I always look them up to make sure that the etymology reflects that character. I have a journal where I, I just collect names that have certain characteristics, and when I'm writing, I try those names on the characters. And until I find the name that clicks, that fits that character's personality, I can't write. I need that. And so it's just, it's very important to me.